You know, we fish the skiing area lots, and always up in Terrace, we're always with good friend Multi Jurgensen. And today I'm sitting with his daughter Annika. She's 10 years old, and she's really learning how to tie flies, and it's quite impressive. Today she's gonna give us a treat of tying us the Hogginator. It was originated by Mike Hogg, a good friend of ours also here in Terrace. And make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a size one salmon hook. We'll use orange thread to tie with. We'll use some fluorescent green foxtail for the tail. For the body, some fluorescent orange chenille. And for the wing, we'll use some green crystal flash. So, of course, being a 10-year-old girl, Annika's a little shy, but she's a great tire. So, first, you're gonna put on some green fox, right, for the tail. Okay, so, you can get all cut up and, and put it on. And you're making it about the length of the hook, which is pretty standard for a tail. It's about the length of the hook. Now I think for the body, you've got some fluorescent orange chenille, right? It's okay, so we'll start at the tail as we always do. And Annika's gonna wrap it in and then wrap it forward to form the body. And you're bringing your thread forward, good. So now I think we're ready to put on the wing, right? Okay, so now what are you gonna use? You're gonna use your uh, green crystal flash. Okay, so Annika's gonna take about, looks like, yeah, it looks like you got about 10 or 12 strands. And this is a very simple pattern, but you know, we've used this pattern lots on the Skeena and it's very effective for the gold and the steelhead. So you've got, yeah, you probably got about eight to 10 strands there. And just tying it right into the wing, right on the top. So to finish the fly off, as I always do, as you're gonna do, now you know how to use the whip finisher, right? Good, okay, show everybody and do the, do a nice whip finish. Excellent, one, two, three, four, five, six, good. And then cut off your excess. Perfect. And then you're gonna put a little head cement on. Ah, good. Always good to head cement. Make sure your fly doesn't fall apart on you. And there you have it, the finished Hogginator. Annika, great job, and you know what? This pattern works, believe me, give it a try.